In this video, we will see, the construction of a plane scale. It is a simple scale, that reads, or measures, up to two units. That is, a unit, and its subdivision, for example, centimeters, and millimeters. It consists of a line, divided into a suitable number of equal units. The first unit is, subdivided into smaller parts. The zero should be placed, at the end of the first main unit. From the zero mark, the units should be numbered to the right. And the subdivisions to the left. Write the main, or first unit name, to the right of the scale. And sub-unit's name, to the left of the scale. The RF, should be mentioned, below the scale. This is how the plane scale looks. We will see, the construction of the plane scale, with a working example. Construct a scale of, 1 is to 2, to show, centimeters, and long enough to measure up to, 4 decimeters. Before constructing, let's see, the relation between centimeters, and decimeters. That is, 10 centimeters, equals, 1 decimeter. Scale, 1, is to, 2, means, representative factor, RF, equals to, 1, by, 2. This means, the drawing looks half size the original object. We know the formula for RF, that is equal to, length of object on drawing, divided by, actual length of object. We can also write it as, length of scale, divided by, maximum length. So, length of scale, equals to, RF, times, maximum length. In the question, it says, long enough to measure. That means, maximum length of the scale. It is given as, 4 decimeters. We need to find out the length of the scale. That is, equal to, 1 half, into, 4 decimeters, that is, 40 centimeters. So, the length of scale becomes, 20 centimeters. Now, let's draw the line of length, 20 centimeters. But, in reality, it represents a maximum length of, 4 decimeters, or 40 centimeters. We need to divide this line, into 4 equal parts. Because, it is mentioned in the question, that measure up to, 4 decimeters. So, 20, by, 4, gives the length of each part. That is 5 centimeters. To divide the line into 4 equal parts, we need to draw a line, at an angle to the original line. We can draw this line, with any angle, and can take any suitable length. Then, with the radii of 2 centimeters, divide the line into 4 parts. That is, put arcs at 4 places, 2 centimeters, the radii. We can use, any number to divide the line. For example, we can take 3 centimeters, instead of 2 centimeters, and still get same result. To divide the original line, into equal parts, we need to make use of a mini drafter. Place the mini drafter, at the last arc, and draw a line, to the end of the original scale. Now, tighten the screw of the drafter. And, take the drafter, to the third arc. From third arc, draw a line to the original scale, keeping the drafter fixed. We can clearly see here that, these two lines are parallel. And, repeat the same process, for the other two curves, and draw lines. We can see here that, the scale got divided into, four equal parts. Now, give a height to the scale, to make it look like a real scale. Now, draw the lines, from the intersection points, on the scale. These four parts, are the main unit of the scale. Let's mark the units now. Assign, 0, to the end of first division. And continue numbering, 1, 2, 3, at the end of every subsequent line. Here, each division, is equivalent to 1 decimeter. So, we have completed drawing the main units, the decimeters. To the right of the scale, we have units, decimeters. So, let's write, decimeters, to the right of scale. And to the left of the scale, we will have sub-units. That is, centimeters. From the point, zero, to the left, we will have, centimeters. We know, one decimeter, equals to, ten centimeters. So, we need to divide this one decimeter, to ten equal parts. That is, ten centimeters. To divide it into 10 equal parts, we need to follow the same procedure, as earlier. 
draw a line at an angle to the scale and divide the line into 10 equal parts let's say 1 centimeter each part we can take any number to divide now take the mini drafter and draw the line from the last arc to the end of first section that is to 0 tighten the screw of the drafter and draw the other 9 lines from the 9 arcs we can see that the first section got divided into 10 equal parts now draw a horizontal line in the middle of the first section now draw the lines for 10 equal parts downwards from the horizontal line from the reference of intersection points let's number them as 1 2 3 up to 10 from the 0 these are the subunits of the scale that is centimeters so write centimeters at the left side of scale we need to write the representation factor 1 by 2 below the scale in the middle this is how we need to construct the plane scale plane scale is used to represent two units that is a unit and its subunits such as kilometers meters meters decimeters or decimeters centimeters etc if we want to draw a 2.4 decimeter line using plane scale from 0 to 2 indicates 2 decimeters we draw a vertical line from point 2 we still need to draw 0.4 decimeters or 4 centimeters to the left of the scale from point 0 we have centimeters so take 4 centimeters and draw a vertical line now join the two vertical lines that indicates 2.4 decimeters. Sometimes, we may need to draw a 2.45 decimeter line. It is not possible to draw a 2.45 decimeter line accurately using plane scale because it can measure up to only the first decimal point. To draw more accurate measurements up to the second decimal point, we need to use a different scale. That is, the diagonal scale. In this video, we have discussed how to construct the plane scale.